It's Elizabeth from The Toy Hoarder. I am back with some more Lightyear toys. Guys, I am super stoked for this film to come out this summer. So soon, 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 you guys. And I love the Imaginex toys. It's really cool that everything is interchangeable with one another. I do also have, I think, all of the Toy Story ones. I don't want to necessarily say that, though, in case I'm missing any. But I've been trying to collect all of the Toy Story ones. And while this is a Toy Story spinoff, I suppose, still definitely has Buzz Lightyear, you know, the best character because space, astronauts, all that jazz, right? So this is going to be very exciting. I have the Hyperspeed Explorer XL-01, and then I have a pack that has Space Ranger Alpha Buzz Lightyear and Alicia Hawthorne. So here's Buzz, here's Alicia, and then this is maybe like a giant cricket or something. I don't know, maybe it's the uh, aliens that they're going to have in the film. I'm not really sure how they're going to handle aliens in this film. But, super stoked to get these open. So I'm going to show you the packaging up close. It does say Disney Pixar's Lightyear, Imagine X ages 3 to 8. And I guess that's supposed to be ages. But I am not ages 3 to 8, so that's actually weird that it doesn't say 3 plus or something. But maybe that means something else that I didn't understand. I don't know, you guys. That's interesting. But anyway... It does have a projectile in it. It's got, it looks like another piece of a wing that you can put in. And it does actually come with a Buzz Lightyear inside of here. So in case you just want to get the one set, you can still have the toy. And he does go inside of this cockpit here. And it's, it's going to be pretty cool. I'm, uh, I'm excited. If you'd like to pause it and read anything, please feel free to do so. I'm going to try to get it close enough so you can see everything. And then I've got a Buzz, Alicia, and this bug looking thing. So there is that packaging. We will get them open. For the smaller figures, we should just be able to remove the plastic from the cardboard. So I'm going to do that. Ooh, there we go. And then they all just come out of this plastic tray real easy like that. And I will show you all those up close, of course. But let me get this one open so I can show you everything. Okay, this one has big zip ties in here it's there's two there's one around the front and one kind of in through the back here but you can cut them both from the top so i am going to cut those is that all i have in here for this okay so that's what holds the spaceship in and then you can remove the plastic from the cardboard here and that's what holds in the projectile and this the astronaut Ooh. oh and the wing piece all right, so there's the buzz, projectile, wing piece. Okay, it does show in the very bottom of the box that you are supposed to attach the wing in, and of course, I'll show you all of that, so do not panic. There might also be an instruction booklet in the very bottom. No, nope. I'm actually kind of surprised they didn't put that, but anyway, guys, this spin goes with the thruster piece pointing toward the back of the ship. That way when the fuel comes out, the ship goes forwards. They go in opposite directions. Okay. This is really cool, you guys. I'm very excited about this ship. I, I Okay. You hold it kind of like a blaster, and there is a little trigger here, and the trigger will open up this sort of X-wing design that they've got going on. So we've got what looks like extra thrusters on top of wings with other thrusters. So that's pretty cool. I assume it will probably also shoot the projectile. Um, I'm not going to do that right this second, but that is really cool. So it still does something even if you lose the projectile, which is kind of cool. So you can... Ooh, that, that's awesome. All right. This just pops open, and then you can put a character inside. I don't know if I can fit two characters. Oh, hey! Good news, guys. This actually will stand up on its own, so you can play with it as a spaceship sitting down, too. All right, can I fit two characters in here, maybe? There are... I guess I'll show you inside of here. So there are two little handholds here. So if you put a character in the seat, they should be able to hang on to these handholds. In theory... Uh I'm not doing a great job positioning it, but I don't think I, I don't think I can fit two characters, guys. That's unfortunate. This is a one-man ship. All right. This projectile goes in here, and we will do that. All right, ready? Here we go. Ah! I hit the, 
the base that I have the tripod standing on, so it, it bounced back at me. All right, well, I, ha I do have pets in this house, so I do not want to shoot it too intensively, but I'll kind of do a, a side diagonal here. Ready? Wow, this is a pretty intense projectile. Um, do be careful with, with all projectile toys. You know, there are definitely some safety concerns. Be careful with the younger children. Any children who are going to shoot it at other people or in other people's faces, don't don't allow that. Uh, also, if you have pets and things like that, it could be potentially dangerous. I don't know that it's much of a swallow hazard, but I suppose if it breaks, it could be a bigger uh, swallow hazard. But I mean, take precautions if you know that your kids or pet situation is an issue for that, right? Okay, this is super cool. I, I do see a lot of mold details in here, and I'm going to show you up close what I mean by that. I'm going to eject the projectile so I don't accidentally shoot it out at you, but there's a lot of different details inside the mold here that it would have been neat if more of it was highlighted through extra color. So there is actually a zero one on this spaceship fin and I don't know if it's gonna let you see it or not. A lot of this stuff is really just very hard to see because there wasn't a lot of extra color in it. But we do still have the two grays and the blue so it doesn't look unpainted per se but there's a lot more that you see up close that you just you can't see otherwise. So I do wish they had put a little more color into it I think. Uh, even even if it was just highlighting and shadow type colors so that the designs popped a little bit more than they do right now. So yeah, there's that spaceship. That's pretty cool. It looks like you can fit any of the characters in there and with Imaginex they're all about the same size and they do have the same feet so they can activate all the playsets and things like that. So everybody can fit in there and that is super cool. They can also stand on these hand pegs, which is kind of interesting and fun. But definitely uh, one, one character at a time. We, can we fit the bug in here? The bug does fit as well. So it is a slightly larger cockpit, so you can, you can fit some of the other fun little accessory characters and things in there too. So some of the characters, maybe like, you know, Bunny and Ducky from Toy Story or something might fit, even though they're not a human figure per se. But yeah, that's pretty cool. All right, so I'm going to show you the astronaut buzz up close and I will show you his articulation although I will tell you it is the same for every uh, Imaginext figure and they do have the same feet with these little pegs at the bottom and they are at the same angle so you can set them inside of a playset and turn it and usually it activates some part of the playset so um this this isn't really considered a playset I don't know uh, I guess it's like one of the vehicles or something and so some of these medium-sized Imaginex playset things do not have them, but the, the big, big playsets will usually have it. Okay, as far as articulation, he does not have it. Oh, wait. He does have a 360-degree head spin. I didn't think he would have anything in his head. Sorry about that, guys. Almost missed it. <laughs> then he's got a full ball joint in the arm, so up, down, and all the way around in that shoulder joint. And then... His legs do have a joint, but both of the legs, as I said, it is an activation point for these playsets, which is a big part of the Imaginex sets. So the legs are attached like this. They're like a, a, an upside down V shape here, and it does bend throughout the rest of the body. So you can't bend just one leg. They both, they both bend together, I guess, is what I'm getting at. Hopefully that makes sense. I'm sorry if I didn't explain that well. Okay, so there's that one. And then there's another Buzz Lightyear figure, and this one does not have his... Oh, so he does have a helmet on, and I don't know if I showed this very well, but if you see it from the side, there is actually no face mask on it. So you can, you know, it's, it's hollow, you can see to his face. If he were actually in space, he would definitely need that clear shield. It's not really a big deal that it's not here on the toy. In fact, it's probably better that it's not, because now it doesn't get scratched up, and it's not an issue. His face is probably a little bit more protected with the rest of this helmet on, but... Here is a Buzz Lightyear that does not have any of the space helmet stuff. He does have his hair, which has been an exciting thing for fans to see that, you know, every now and then he takes his hood off and he does actually, you know, have hair like a normal human. Um, or is bald, which would have been fine too, but people just didn't know, I guess, is the idea. 
So he does have the same articulation, but I'll run through real quick. Full ball joint in the shoulder. Oh, this one doesn't have a head joint. Okay, so I don't think they usually do have head joints. It's really interesting that he does have one, but because he's got this big piece that comes around here and up on his head, maybe they didn't want kids getting their fingers stuck in there. Okay, that one doesn't have a head joint, but it does have the swivel joint at the hips and then ball joints in each of the shoulders here. Then we've got, uh, what did I tell you her name was? Alicia or something? Alicia Hawthorne. Okay, so here's Alicia Hawthorne. She looks a lot like Buzz, and if you can see, the purple on her head is that space hood that she's got on. So we can't see her hair in this, which is ironic. I was just telling you about that with uh, Buzz from Toy Story. So she actually does have a head joint. So I wonder if this Buzz does have a head joint, and I just can't get uh, it does. These get really stuck, you guys. I'm sorry. There is actually a head joint. You got to kind of get it started. If you're, if you're giving this to little ones and they are interested in playing with that particular head joint, you might have to, as an adult, get that started for them. So just FYI on that, I can't get Alicia's head to turn all the way around. She does get stuck on her helmet uh, between her hood and her nose. So that's interesting. But I can get Buzz to turn all the way around on both of these two. Then she's got ball joints in each of her shoulders, and then she's got, of course, the bendable joint through the legs. I don't think the bug is going to have any articulation. No. So that's kind of disappointing, but I will show you the bug up close. He looks like some kind of cricket, I guess? Which, I don't know. I don't know if this is supposed to be a friendly or a scary character. I'm assuming it's not going to be too big of a character, since... Um, and I don't mean size-wise, I mean as far as part in the movie, but since they didn't really give it any articulation, it is all one color. There's some detail in here, like some little pinchers, a little bit of texture, things of that sort. There's texture inside the wings and a little bit on the body and some different bumps and things. So there is mold detail on here, but again, not really a lot of color. They just kind of all in one douse this color, so I kind of assume they're you know, maybe there's a whole bunch of them and so it's not really a big deal as an individual character or it's a very minor character. I don't really know if that is something safe to assume or not. Uh, and I guess it's hard to review that other than that. I also haven't seen this in the film, but I definitely, I think, would like to see a little bit uh, more shadow and highlights and things like that. I think that would be cool, but it doesn't really need it. It's, it's a bug. You get the idea. It doesn't really have a whole lot of other colors. I think it would have been kind of neat if we had clear wings. That would have been kind of fun or just something a little bit to make it pop. Um, so that's just a personal opinion. And again, I don't know what the character is based off of because I have not seen the film yet. So I don't know. That is everything for this video. So far, I am pretty happy with them. I mean, it's definitely uh, on par with the Magidex quality and they will go with all the other play sets and things like that. I'm very excited about the spaceship. I've been pretty much waiting for that one. I love when they make the vehicles, especially I love space and astronauts and all of that jazz. So this is an especially fun vehicle for me, but I want to know what you guys think. Let me know what you guys think of any of the Lightyear Imaginex toys down in the comments below. Have you found any other ones that are really cool? Were there any other vehicles? Did anyone find any play sets? Let me know down in the comments below. Of course, if you enjoyed the video that you saw today and you haven't had a chance yet, please do click that red subscribe button down below as well. Really helps to support us and encourages us to keep posting more awesome videos like this one for you guys. So while you're there, you can click the thumbs up, leave a like, and you can go to our other channel. We've got plenty of other toy reviews and other fun things on there. And we're always adding new content weekdays at 4 p.m. Central Standard Time, except Toy Story Thursdays at 6 p.m. Central Standard Time. And for the Lightyear series, I will probably be posting them some other days besides Thursdays, just because I'm really excited they just came out. So as I'm finding them, I will start posting them because it's a big deal. I'm excited. Okay. <laughs> Be sure to join us again soon, and until next time, have a great time playing. Bye!